We are back with the uh, X-Max. We are, of course, gonna modify it already. We've had it for like three days and we bought a um, wide max kit. So it's supposed to make it 30 millimeters wider on both ends. So we'll see how it is. We're gonna do a little install on it. I'm gonna have him do it. You ready? Yep. It's gonna be fun. All right, let's get to it. So this one, it is a lot wider than the stock ones. This one comes with springs. How much bigger? It's about 30 box. millimeters from what it says. I should say it on the box. Yep, 30 millimeters right there. Okay. So, this is a full kit. It's from Traxxas. It comes with everything you need to, of course, make it a wide max. So, let's see how much of a pain this is going to be to put in. So, we got the blue one. The uh, car has all blue metal on it. So, that's what we're going to be installing. So, it has big springs or the much thicker springs compared yep. to the stock ones. Yeah, so it, it being wider, it's gonna need stronger springs. The bigger steering arms. What about the drive lines? Yeah, I believe it comes with that too. Should it come with everything? Oh yeah, they're, they're in there. All Perfect. right, that's it. Drive arms, drive lines. Drive lines. These are big right. springs. Holy crap. Let's start taking them apart. Just taking off all the rubber bands around it. And if everybody's wondering, we are doing this on the dining table. Luckily, uh, the missus does not mind. Alright, let's see what we got here. Same springer. Yeah, look. It's well, just yeah. left and right. There's definitely a difference. And you got the, uh, these are the tie rod ends. And we'll go from there. So, so far we got it about halfway apart. I got the springs out on this side, got the new arms on. So, so far we haven't had to take too much apart to uh, get to those. As you can see, we did everything from the sides. Everything seems to work. We're gonna do one side at a time. Do have to take the tires off. We got the old spring off. And yeah, these are actually a pretty big difference. This is pretty light compared to how heavy this spring is. So definitely do the springs. Don't cheap out on that. This is why I like the Ultimate. This thing is sweet. Look at these pieces. These things are awesome. Only downside to the kit is so far, this is plastic and the originals are aluminum. So I'm gonna see if I can find something where that piece is full aluminum. But for now, we're throwing these babies on there. Make it work. All right, well, let's keep going. It was pretty easy so we got uh both top and or top and bottom a arms a arms mm -hmm. and a longer uh drive shaft 
also known as axle, with a longer uh, steering arm. Sadly, the, the original one is aluminum when that one is plastic. So right. hopefully we can find one that is- We'll look into that later. Yeah, but- yep. But basically the front's all put together now. Springs, everything's good to go. I like the color matching. It doesn't match it perfectly because obviously that's aluminum, but it is pretty dang close. So now it's time to tackle the rear. So far it hasn't been too crazy. So let's see what happens with the back. Wide Max kit is on, and dang, look at that. That 30 millimeters makes a huge difference. I love the way those arms look. Actually, the blue's kind of growing on me. Looks pretty dang good. What do you think, Carson? It looks awesome. Yeah. It should run a lot better now. Right. Hopefully now it doesn't roll as much. So the install was pretty straightforward, nothing too crazy. Um, the only other thing that I noticed that I did want to mention is on these upper control arms right here, there's two holes. I'm pretty sure that's the change that camber on it, but I just put them in the original hole that was the bottom hole, not the top hole. I believe the fronts do have it as well, but other than that, um, everything else is pretty straightforward. It's all pretty much bolt on. Um, yeah, any questions, just let us know what's up. Check out the next video to see how this thing runs. Say bye. Later. Bye.